Hi everyone, my name is Matthew and I'm a Cloud Accounting Specialist here at PJCO. So a recent client of ours asked us if it were possible to create terms for an invoice that would allow them to make it payable 30 days onward from the month, end of the month that the invoice was raised. For example, creating conditions where an invoice made, say, on the 7th of May would instead be due at the end of the following month, on the 30th of June, as opposed to the end of May, which would be the 31st. So, to start off, navigate to account settings found underneath the company cog, under your company, and select it. From here, we're going to select the sales option on the left-hand side of the screen, then on to sales form content, and as we're dealing with invoice terms, we're going to select the drop-down menu to the right-hand side and select add new. So to start with, we need to name a term. So for this example, I'm going to name it 30 days from month end. So next, we're going to select the due by certain day of the month as we want the invoice to relate to the end of the month. So in this box, we will enter the first rule telling QuickBooks that the payment will be due X number of days from this specific day. So here we're going to enter the 31st. So for months with less than 31 days, this will automatically change, so you don't need to worry about manually changing it each month. Secondly, then as we want the invoice to be made payable 30 days after the month end, in this box here, we're going to give the condition its second rule, so we're going to type in number 30. Obviously, if you prefer 60 days after month end, you can do as you wish, enter it into this box, and QuickBooks are set up for you. Here you can see QuickBooks also gives you the option to apply a discount if the payment was made early. So if you offer such terms, feel free to click on this and enter it in. Otherwise, click save and navigate back to the home screen. So from here, if you decide you want to create an invoice with the term we've just created, underneath the drop down menu here, the new term you've just created will appear. You can enter the relevant details and save it and it will be applied for you.